Hello YouTube, this is really quick video. A lot of Mac users are facing these issues including me. There are tons of videos on how to transfer iTunes backup to external hard disk, but no one have clearly explained on how to directly take a backup to external hard disk. It is really simple step, just follow the step very carefully or unless it will not work. So copy the text right in front of you, you can take this text from description, copy it and paste it into text editor on your Macbook. If you want to find the text editor, you can go to launcher and type text editor. There you will find a text editor, copy the whole thing and paste it on your text editor. Now connect your external hard disk and open it up. Here you have to create a new folder with the name of backup. This name is very important, type it in small letters. Now when you have done it, go to launcher and search for terminal and open it. Drag the backup folder into terminal so you got the location of that folder. Now copy the full location and paste it as I am doing. You have to modify old location with new one. So that's all when you have done it. Just copy the whole text and paste it into terminal. Remember to clear the previous text in the terminal and now hit the enter button. On the next line you will see just your name of your computer and nothing else. Don't worry. This means everything is going right and you have done correctly. Now it's time to check. Open finder and click on go. Now here you have to hold down alt or option key. You will see library. Hit it. Find apple support. Open it. Then go to mobile sync. Again open it up. Then you will see the folder named backup and you will see a small arrow key. If there is no arrow key means you have done something wrong. The small arrow key is the proof of method gone right. Now this arrow key is a shortcut folder and the actual location of the shortcut folder is in your external hard disk. So whenever iTunes try to save the backup on your shortcut location, it will forward it to your hard disk. And no file will be saved on your computer. This is it. Congratulations. Now few things to keep in mind. As there is a change of 2 to 3 location, your backup will take a lot of more time than before. Also, you need to keep your hard disk connected for long time, which will eat up your battery life. So make sure to plug in the charger before you go this procedure. I know you will find many mistakes doing this procedure, so you can ask me in comment section. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And friends, don't forget to subscribe me. And guys, if you want me to make other videos, help me out with the topic, I will make it for you. Thank you and have a nice day.